Hi folks, this is Steve. I'm going to take you on a really quick tour of this 2012 Keystone Premier Ultralight. They call it by bullet. Uh, this is a 31 foot bunkhouse model with a forward master. It's made of all fiberglass and aluminum. Very lightweight, 7,800 pounds and um, a tandem axle. I'll take you around the outside and then we'll go on the inside. First of all, on the, this is on the right hand side of the rig this is two entry models so the forward door goes into the main salon area this rear door goes into the bath and then connects to the bunkhouse uh, this model has a uh, outdoor kitchen it's got a um, freezer fridge a sink little uh, working table here there's one cupboard above then there's this slide out two burner grill by Suburban it looks like the grill's never been used very clean very nice uh, coming around the back of the rig there's a spare tire with a cover the rear bumper has the uh, hose in it for the storage. Again, this is that the arch roof on it and the membrane top, so you don't have problems with leaks. This rig has been water tested, and we can't find any leaks. It has two slides on the left side. Uh, the rear slide is for the bunkhouse area. This has um, about an eight-foot length to it. And then in the center, you have your outdoor shower, which is right here. There's a little pull-down, and you pull it out, and you have your little outdoor shower right there. 30-amp power cord. Then the forward slide, this is the one that has your um, <clears throat> dinette and your sofa in it here. This slide is approximately 11 and a half feet long. It has four windows in it. Uh, by the way, these newer models have all the flush mounted glass with the privacy versus the old style with the aluminum frames. These are much more streamlined and don't leak. Here's your fresh water fill on the left side. This is the basement storage right here. It goes all the way through the rig from side to side and you can see in there it's very clean. Very nice. Uh, there is uh, stabilizing jacks forward, stabilizing jacks aft. Um, in the very front of the rig, you've got your double propane. These are 20 pound cylinders here. This is a power um, lift for your uh, hitch. There are two docking lights on each one on each side for uh, nighttime docking. Okay, so I'll take you inside and we'll uh, get a look at how this interior. By the way, here's the here's the manufacturer information. This has the thermal package. So that means it's a four season rig, you can use it in the winter time. Inside here, what we've got is a tan vinyl floor. Um, it's very nicely decorated. Everything in here is super clean, like new. No smells, no stains. There's been no pets in here, no smoking in here. Um, so coming in the front door to the left is a galley left. You've got a very large oversized uh, sink with a Corian countertop. There's a three burner stove. Uh, this is a uh, Wedgwood. Also, this does have an oven, and if you can see that, it's just like new in there. And here's your burners. If you look at this carefully, you can see that it doesn't look like this stove's ever even been used. There's not a scratch or a mark on it. You do have a power vented hood above. Then on top of that, there is a high point microwave right here. I'll try to get in here so you can see it. Again, it doesn't ever look like it was ever used. Um, this rig doesn't appear to have been on more than one or two camping trips in its life. Next to that there's a Domitech refrigerator freezer. The top is a switch to go from auto mode to electric mode. I'll show you the inside. I'll try to give you a look at that. It's very cold in here. It's working fine. Had it on for a couple of days. Here's the fridge lower portion here. And again everything in here is really nice, really clean. No marks, no stains. Here's the door. That's all like new also. There, it's a brushed stainless front on these right here. To the right of that is your pantry. Here you have a very large deep pantry. This is about uh, 16 inches wide and about 30 inches deep. There's one, two, three, four shelves there. Then on the lower part you have two more. So there's four, five, six shelves on that side. Very nice raised panel door detail in the keystone by the way. And this does have the um, antiquing to it. The glazing they call it actually. Okay, so that's your galley area. I'll give you one quick another view of that so you can get a good idea how your kitchen is going to work. By the way, underneath the sink you also have two drawers. This is your silverware drawer there, and then there's a large area under the sink for storage right there. And you have, of course, a cupboard above that right here. That's about 18 inches deep by about 28 inches wide. There's your galley. Over on the opposite side of the rig, this is where you have your sofa. You have a double sleeper there. The sofa pulls out and, of course, makes it a queen-size sleeper right there. The material, I wish you could see this in person. This material is really nice. There's no marks, no stains, and every all the fabric and stuff is uh, 
really just like new, not any, not any sign of wear at all there. Very nice window treatments with shades over that, then three cupboards with, with a little bit of an opaque glass above that, and then a light. Next to that is your dinette seats four. This is a big dinette. Lot, some of these are kind of small. This one is a really good size. Um, this folds down and makes a sleeper also, so two can sleep here. Then there's a large you know, picture window, a shade, alabaster shade lighting fixture up here, and another window off to the side there. And you have storage underneath these seats as well. Looking back at the salon this direction, I'll try to give you another view of that. And then way up here and forward, here's your TV and your entertainment center. You have a flat screen TV that's reversible, so this turns around to face the forward master. And then below that is your Jensen audio system with CD and DVD player. The remotes are right there. And then below that there are two shelves above two shelves, two cupboards right here. Here's the forward master. Uh, on the right side, again, this is where you come in the front door. Three switches for your lights, your two slide buttons, and your power awning. By the way, the power awning is in perfect shape. Here's the forward um, master. This is a queen size bed. This does lift up. There's storage underneath it, underneath here. You have two reading lights, and then you have two map lights up above, and then you have a double fixture above that. So there's a lot of light in here. The locker on the right side does have a mirror. There's a hanger, hanging type closet right here. Then you have a, a magazine uh, table there. On the other side, similar arrangement. You have a mirrored cupboard, hanging locker right there. And then your table, reading table and stuff is down here. Nicely decorated. All this stuff comes with it. The pillows, the shams, bedspreads, all that. And there's your premier engraved little logo up there at the top. So there's your forward cabin. This is a mirror, or when you spin it around, it's your TV. So you can use it either way. Okay, so coming back uh, into the back of the rig now. Um, this is your control for your Domitech, your f furnace, and your AC. We've tested this. It works fine. These are your electric or gas for your hot water. And this is your control for all of your uh, battery, fresh water, black water, gray water. And your pump off and on goes right there. He bathroom is right here inside of this door. Remember, this goes right outside, too, so the kids don't have to come all the way through the front door with their dirty feet running back through into their cabin. They can come right through from here into the bathroom from inside inside outside without going into the rig really nice design feature there's the toilet it's real clean works fine little vanity here with a little overmount sink uh, there, there's a medicine chest up here with uh, two shelves one two and a little open area here then there's a cupboard underneath on the vanity right there and you have this this uh, stand-up shower there is a uh, power vented fan up at the top right there this is really clean I hope you can see this I'll try to give you a view of it it looks like new You'll be, I think you'll be impressed with this when you see it in person. It has a little tub. Nobody's going to take a bath in there but a kid, but it's a little soaking tub. So, and you have a nice uh, curtain here with a towel and a, some uh, knickknacks. This all goes with the rig. And there's your rugs. The rugs are all included. They're all new. Everything in this rig is new. So there's your bath. Then across from that, you have another locker right here. This locker is really deep, and it's got a hanging up there. If you take these shelves out, you have a big hanging locker here. Uh, these shelves were added, so you have one, two, three, four shelves there. I think there's a drawer here. Yeah, another drawer there. And then here's your fuse panel right there. There's all your fuses right there. Very easy to access. Now we go into the rear cabin area. Okay, so you have a pull-out right in the very bottom. That pulls out and sleeps a person there. Then you have that one for another person. Then you have this one up here for another person. So three people can sleep here, three kids presumably sleep there. All of these shams, pillows are all brand new and they all come with it. Never been used. Then on the other side you have an entertainment center right there. You have a color TV flat screen so they can put a little gaming console there if they want. And then they have all these netted little things for knickknacks, shoes, socks, underwear, whatever right in there. There's a little ladder that goes up here and then you have another bunk right there. So back here you really have an easy sleep of four kids where nobody's on top of each other. And then there's a rear window there, a window on the right side of the rig right there. And then this curtain pulls around for a little bit of privacy. Well, that's it. I hope that's been helpful. Um, and my name again is Steve. Uh, my number is 810-599-5147. This rig is located in Howell, Michigan. The zip code is 48843. It's right here at my house. Uh, it is a bank repo. I forgot to mention that at the beginning. Um, I'm a home builder, and this is a little hobby for me. It's nothing I do for a living. It's just kind of something fun that my wife and I do. We play around with these repossessed RVs a little bit, but um, I can tell you it's really nice. There's no problems. It's never been in trouble or anything, and um, I, as far as I can tell, it's just been like a one-owner, very lightly used rig.
If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call. Thanks so much.